What's up guys and welcome back to episode 7 of the free to play level 3 skiller series. Starting off this video with 410 total level and just about 963,000 total XP. We still just have 12 quests completed with 26 quest points and the quests that we need to complete in order to green log the free to play quests for a level 3 is Mistal and Mystery, Prince Ali Rescue, and the Shield of Arav. I'm still here at the Alcarid Mine. We wrapped up last episode getting 400 total level, which would bring us from the Sapphire rank in the District 3 clan chat up to the Emerald rank. However, once again, nobody's online at this hour that can actually promote me, so we're going to be doing that later in the video. And here comes the first level of this video, and that is going to be... Level 41 Mining. We could finally use the Rune Pickaxe. I don't want to leave the mine and have to come back and lose aggro again, so I'm just going to transfer over a rune pickaxe from my main account. And there we go, the rune pickaxe has been achieved. Mining iron is going to be so much faster than it was before. It's kind of funny, I'm getting the same amount of XP here as I am making soul runes on my other account. But here we go, level 45 mining coming in there. If I was a member, I could mine granite, which would be very helpful. However, y'all know the drill, we cannot do that. Wow, we just got our first clue geode, almost level 50 mining. So we almost went 10 levels here without getting a single clue geode. I'm going to keep this one in my inventory and I'm going to do it after I get 50 mining. Here comes the last rock to get level 50 mining. We can now mine size 5 stars, which is very helpful because just today the shooting star update happened where it doesn't deplete faster if there are more people on it. So shooting stars, you can actually get some pretty decent XP there. Very, very AFK as well. But anyway, let's go get this beginner clue done. The first step is dig right next to Falador. Okay. I keep forgetting that I'm able to take canoes now. Probably should have just home tellied, used the canoe. Would have been maybe faster than the Chronicle. Actually, you know what? It probably isn't. But yeah, I keep forgetting that canoes exist. All right, let's hope this is a one-stepper. And it is. Very nice. Let's see what reward we get. And we got a blue wizard hat. Very, very amazing. Apparently, they sell for 544 GP, making this the fourth beginner clue scroll completed on the account. And what we are going to go do now is train some fire making. Can't believe that fire making is our lowest skill at the moment. And there we go, level 40 fire making. Look how clean our stats look now. It looks absolutely awesome. It's going to look way better at 50 or 60, but yeah, I mean, the account's looking pretty good so far. And 45 fire making. We can now burn maple logs. Very nice, very nice indeed. Just gonna finish off this inventory real quick and start burning those. It's really crazy to me that willow logs are 37 GP each and maples are only 11 each. I guess because so many people are cutting maples now that forestry's out, but uh, yeah, I think it's pretty wild because I think Winter Todd has a big part in that as well because people don't usually train fire making like you do in free to play anymore. We're coming up on level 50 fire making here. We remember we can burn mahogany logs and we would be able to enter winter Todd. But here are the current stats. We now have base 50s besides rune crafting. Probably going to save rune crafting for when I'm really in the mood to really buckle down and play. Especially because, I mean, the most efficient thing to do is have multiple clients open and basically run your own essence. So that takes like a ton of focus and I still do want to be getting 99 rune crafting on my actual skiller, currently level 96 rune crafting on that account. So we're definitely going to be holding off on rune crafting towards more of a later date. But for now, I might actually get 60 fire making um, and then maybe 60 wood cutting. I think that's what I'm going to do. So um, yeah, guys, I'll see you in a minute. Oh, and by the way, burning maple logs is 163,000 XP an hour. So if you were wondering, there you go. Level 55 fire making sneaking on in here. Okay, here are the last three logs we need in order to get level 60 fire making. We can now finally burn U logs. And I say finally, like I wasn't only doing this for like an hour and a half. But yeah, the skill tab is looking beautiful. It would look a lot nicer if we had 60 wood cutting though. But before we get into woodcutting, let's do a quest. Just figured I'd mix it up a little bit here. And the quest we are going to do is Prince Alley Rescue. That way at least I don't have to pay the 10 GP to go to Al Karid. 
Okay, I have everything I need to complete the quest, so let's get it started. Got our three balls of wool, so let's get this wig. Would be pretty cool if you could actually wear the wig, just so that your character can walk around with terrible looking hair. Time to get the skin paste here, and now let's head over to the jail. Now we gotta run all the way back to Al -Karid. And now we gotta run all the way back to Drainer Village. Times like these, I wish that glory amulets were available in free to play. But at least we have these energy potions. As terrible as they are, only restoring 10 energy per sip, it is way, way, way better than having absolutely nothing. Let's talk to Leela, trap this guard behind the closed door, and talk to Joe. Use the rope on the lady, use the key on the door, talk to Prince Ali. Your, your hair changes dramatically. Uh, from short to long. Do you wear wigs? Uh, no, I do not. Have you worn wigs? No, I have not. Will you wear wigs? Maybe. When will you wear wigs? <laughs> and now we have to head back to Al Karid yet again. I'm telling you, if we had glory Emmys, this quest would be so fast, you could literally teleport to Draenor and al -Karid with just a glory amulet. And here we go. Accomplished. Good work. We have now completed Prince Ali Rescue, and are awarded 3 quest points, 700 GP, and we can now use the al -Karid toll gate for free. Now I have a total of 29 quest points and 13 quests completed. Also I just realized while I was running here that Antoine is online and he is going to be able to make me an emerald rank. So let me hit him up real quick, and then we could see our rank change. Many hours later. Well, I guess Antoine is AFK, and uh, we're gonna have to wait yet again to get an updated rank. Serves me right for playing from like 11 p.m. until 6 a.m., right? At this rate, we're gonna hit the diamond rank at 500 total level and get that rank before we even get the emerald rank. So I guess I will try again tomorrow. So, um, as you guys can see, it's been a long tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been on in a minute. I've been really focusing on my regular level three skiller. I just maxed it the other day. And so now we are going to be working on this account again. So I initially wanted to start the series out with 10 to 12 minute videos. I just watched back all of the videos before this one. And I don't think a single one is under 15 minutes. Some of them are even over 20 minutes. And for a goal of 10 to 12 minutes, that's quite a bit too long. So I'm going to actually end this video here. I am going to try to... I'm not in a clan? Huh? Wait, what? Did I get booted? What happened? I guess I got booted. Because I haven't logged in in 100 days. Wow. So I guess I'm going to have to get re-recruited. Um, that's kind of unfortunate. Because currently we have 444 total level. And we should be the Emerald rank. So let me put a message in the clan chat here. And see what's up. So uh, yeah, just give me a second. And of course, as per usual, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Nobody is on who can recruit me. So yeah, I guess I really will see you guys tomorrow whenever I could actually be recruited and given my Emerald rank. Okay, so it's not technically tomorrow right now. However, I was on two days ago from like 2 a.m. until 6 a.m. And every single time I go on in those time frames, there is nobody online who can recruit me back to the clan. Super unfortunate, but this is the third day of me trying in these time frames. I know I have a very, very odd sleeping schedule, but I am wanting to play on this account. I'm getting tired of waiting. So what I'm going to do right now is do the Christmas event before it goes away because it's currently the 4th of January right now. And I do want to do this event before it goes away. So yeah, let's go do the Christmas event. And I am probably going to end the video after that, unless there is somebody who comes online randomly that can recruit me to the clan. Alrighty, the Christmas event has been completed. I didn't know what the event was going to be because I did not make a video on it this year. I completely forgot for some reason. So I brought a bunch of energy potions that I didn't need. There are some extra achievements that you could do here. I don't believe these actually do anything if you complete all of them. So I'm not going to be doing those. However, it appears that nobody is online who can re-recruit me yet. So I'm actually going to be ending the video here. I'm sorry that once again, it turns out that I wasn't able to get my rank up yet. However, I do promise to get it in the next video. And hopefully it might even be the first clip of the next video. I'm not entirely sure yet. 
Don't forget if you guys enjoyed this video to drop a like below, it really helps out the channel. And if you want to see further updates on this account, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. But anyway, with all that being said, I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one.